your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Gotro III. Now we were just chatting just a few moments ago. Uh, folks waking up tomorrow might see some slick spots because we're still dealing with a little bit of snow. Yeah, we're going to get a secondary cold front that could spin up a few flurries, perhaps even some light snow showers which could briefly accumulate lightly on the roads, might cause a few isolated slick spots. By the afternoon, we should be all right, but still might even see a few flurries in the afternoon. We'll explain it all right here. Here's a look at downtown Dayton, where, yeah, there's some volume on the roads there this Friday night, no traffic or anything, and the roads are dry, but I guarantee people have their heaters on this evening, this morning, I should say, because it is a very, very cold morning, 30 degrees, and we're going to continue falling as we have been all day. Winds are out of the southwest, about 10 miles per hour. Even just a light wind of about 10 miles per hour, it's feeling like the 20s. Many places are going to feel like the teens tonight, although I will say that the winds have calmed down quite a little bit. They were quite uh, a little bit breezier earlier in the day. Now, here's the next 24 hours. Temperatures dropping into the mid to actually maybe even low 20s especially if we see a little bit of clearing, which we're expected to see some, not completely. And then tomorrow, we're barely going to get above freezing. So yes, Saturday is cold. Even Sunday is cold, but at least it'll feel a little bit nicer. See, here are the road temperatures right now. They've been falling pretty steadily as well. About 5 or 6 o'clock, we still had road temperatures in the 50s despite the chilly temperatures, but now the roads are finally beginning to catch up. So that entered, when we enter the chance for some snow flurries or even some light snow showers, that's when we're going to see the chance for some isolated slick spots. So temperatures right now feeling like the low 20s, perhaps even a few places feeling like the teens with that wind. And here you go, here's the clouds and the rain and the snow. You can see some snow up in Michigan, some snow coming our way from Illinois. Now this is an association with a weak little front that's coming through, but as that front gets closer, we're gonna see the chance for a few light snow showers. And then yes, with the cold temperatures likely dropping below freezing here soon, really sooner than later, we could see some isolated slick spots that may cause a little bit of hazard trip tomorrow morning. So let's take a look here. Future cast shows a little bit of clearing. Here's that line coming through. So I'd say between 6 and 10, maybe 6 and 11 a.m. with this band of snow flurries, even some light snow showers, yes, we could see a few isolated slick spots. Now we might even see another chance, it does look like it, of uh, some p.m. flurries in the afternoon. Any of the snow that we see in those late morning hours, it likely will be cleared up enough for the time uh, the afternoon rolls around. But again, with that chance of a few p.m. flurries, you want to keep that in mind. Here's your seven-day forecast. With some flurries expected Saturday, we'll see a little bit more sunshine on Sunday with a very cold start. It's the last, I guess it's not technically the last morning of winter, but it certainly is a cold one anyway, down 19 degrees. And then as we move into the first day of spring on Monday, we really begin to, the trend of warming up to the 50s and even the 60s later in the week with some returning showers. Thank you, sir. In high school hoops, heartbreaker. Rashawn and I, Julianne, in the state semis Friday. Uh, UD Arena, uh, CJ 